Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Kim with Creative Crafticality, and I have another vintage junk journal haul for you. These are items that I found at a vintage market that I went to with my friend Crystal, who is happy to land here on YouTube. So we went to a vintage market and it was awesome. It was like going to a swap meet, but everything was vintage items and just the booths were so creatively displayed and it, it was just amazing. So I found several items. Um, some of the things I split with Crystal and like some of these older paper items and then I found some I found a little bit of fabrics I found some books and then some paper stuff and some vintage cards and then I have a couple things I threw in here that I found at Marshall's they are um, were clearance from Christmas so I just threw those in because they'll be used for my junk journals so I'll just go ahead and start over here with the books. I found a Wizard of Oz book and I plan on making a journal out of this cover and I I love the series, The Companion Library. These books are about the size of the Nancy Drew books or they're pretty much the same size as the Nancy Drew books if you've ever had one of those. I have another one that is Alice in Wonderland and I am actually making two Alice in Wonderland journals right now if you're following me over on Instagram you would have had a sneak peek of that in the past few days so yeah you want to check those out over there because I will have those up in my shop pretty pretty soon if they're not up already so have that book I found this 45 and it is Walt Disney's acting out the ABC's it still has the 45 in it and then it's a whole book of ABC's I just thought it was super cute I also found the fireside book of children's songs and the fireside book of folk songs and if you'd seen my last haul video I had it was my Christmas haul. I received the Fireside Book of Love Songs from my friend for Christmas. So I'll go ahead and show this to you. This is a really fun 70s book. It's from 19, well, it's actually 1966. The, I love the colors in here and I have, I've been collecting items to do uh, like a 60s 70s sort of journal series so when, once I get around to the doing that I will let you know but I love the bright yellow orange and pink in here it's just really cool so fun and then here is the Fireside Book of Folk Songs. Let me see when this was. This was... Oh, 1947. I, that's the only date that's in here. It says it's the seventh printing. This has really pretty graphics in here as well so fun so that will be fun to use I found this it's sort of like a clip art kids clip art book this is our first book and it has pretty much It's just pretty much pictures, but it it's it looks like it was well somebody has cut things out of it, so I'm not quite sure what 
what it is intended for. But it looks like a book from a, like an elementary school. Well, there's some Easter pictures. And I'm not sure what this, what it's for. But I thought this would be great to add images into my junk journals using tags and things. Some things have already been cut out. There's food back here. Just all kinds of stuff. No words. I don't even think it has a date. Maybe it does. Here, let's see. It's from the it's from California. 1945. So, yeah, that was really cool. I found how to grow roses. This I think is from the 70s. 196 no, 1970. Yep. So I picked this up not only for like my botanical journals but specifically for the Alice in Wonderland journals that I'm working on. For the painted, painting the roses red from the movie or from the story. And then we found an old tablet of writing paper. I used the I've used writing paper in my journals before, but it's always just been the paper I've gotten from the Dollar Tree. So now I have a few sheets of actual vintage writing paper. Uh, these, this is an old ledger paper from that my friend Crystal gave me. She had them already. And so I have some of that. And I have these, this little these little notebook sheets from like an old memo pad and these tiny little sheets from a little tiny memo pad these are sheets from like a desk calendar from 1961 and this was fun we were crystal was going through these and whoever had this like wrote down like this one says, Dear Pretty, I will call you at 3.30 tomorrow. Take good care of yourself tomorrow. Don't let any boys get you. <laughs> Your boyfriend. Yours soft... Uh, I don't know what that says. It says, Your boyfriend. And then right here, I'm not sure. And it says, P.S. I love you. <laughs> it's just funny. So... Those will be fun just to stick in journals as just paper ephemera. And then here is an old pad of like um, train tickets that I've never found these before. Just thrifting. I've seen them on like on Etsy and stuff, but those were cool. And then I picked up, there was a a table that had lots of ribbons and laces and then they had a couple bins of the seam binding and this is that hug snug that you can crinkle and dye and I've been meaning to order some of this but they had it there so I picked picked it up so I'll be able to dye stuff I just need to get the right kind of dyes I think like the glimmer mists or the tattered, I think they're called tattered angel sprays. I need to get some of that. If you know of anything else I can use to actually dye, you know, that would be good to dye this with, let me know. I'm not sure if you can use like acrylic paint and water and water it down and spray it in that. Maybe that will work, I'm not sure. And then I found this, it's kind of like a 
placemat or like a table runner, but just like a centerpiece. But I thought it would be great to cut apart and use on like covers and things like that. So I thought that was fun. And then these are just fabric cuts. And I have red, yellow, and green. And I just thought they were fun for you to use on journals and pages and things like that. But it's a, they're all polka dot and they have like this eyelet embroidery. So that's fun. I think they're like yard pieces. And then the last two things from the vintage market were these vintage playing cards. And you bought them by the baseball cover sheets. And there's 18 cards in each sheet. And I believe they were $1.50 a piece. Or you could get three for five which, you know, is a slightly little bit less than, no, it was more than that. I think they were, it was one, it was cheaper to buy two. I think they were $2 a piece or two for $3. I think that's how it went. So I bought this sheet of different dog cards, super cute. And then this one had a variety of them, but they had cats. That's why I picked up this one, because there's four different cat ones. And then there's some abstract art. And then fruit. There's like a golf golfer on that side. Hershey's Kisses there. This girl. So those are really fun. They had a ton of the dog ones. And then the last two things that I have in this haul were from Marshalls. And it is this roll of pom-pom trim. And there's 10 yards on it. And I just love it because it's on a wood spool. This big giant wood spool. And then this is velvet ribbon. And 10 yards on that as well. And this was a dollar and this was two dollars. So I just thought that was fun. That'll be fun to add in. I have some, I have a paper pad I received from Christmas uh, that has like navy blue in it. So this will go great with that. So that is what I picked up at the vintage market. I hope you like seeing all these fun items. I certainly love shopping for vintage items. And definitely will be using these in my journals. So I hope you like this video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Leave me a comment and subscribe. Go ahead and head over to my Instagram. Follow me there. Take a peek at those Alice in Wonderland journals that I'm working on. And go over to my Etsy shop. And if you favorite my shop, everything that I make and I put up in my shop, you will be notified when it's there and of course I'll let you know do full flip throughs and everything here on the channel and also over on Instagram so I'll see you again next time this is Kim with Creative Crafticality bye god bless